the latest news from Afghanistan. For months now, we have known that the Biden administration completely botched the exit of American troops from America's longest war. Yeah, even the Game of Thrones guys were like, woof, rough ending. <laughs> but now, for the first time, we're learning the details of how costly this mistake actually was. We do have some news, CNN reporting this morning that the U.S. left behind $7 billion worth of military equipment in the chaotic withdrawal from Afghanistan last year. That equipment now in the hands of the Taliban. What kind of equipment is it? According to the report, a few details, aircraft, munitions, military vehicles, weapons, communications gear. A lot of it, it requires very precise maintenance to remain usable. They don't know if the Taliban have been able to keep all of this stuff running. That's a, that's a key question that they may never get an answer to. They left $7 billion worth of military equipment in Afghanistan. How is that even possible? Like, because I get anxiety leaving a hotel in a hurry, you know? <laughs> I get that, you know, like when you're rushing and then you forget your toothbrush? But let me tell you something, if I left $7 billion worth of toothbrushes, <laughs> we're turning this Uber around, people, we're going back. <laughs> now, ac according to the people who left the stuff behind, and this, this part was really interesting, they say this might not be an issue because they say the Taliban might not be able to operate this stuff anyway because of how complicated it is. And first of all, I feel like they're just saying that to cover their ass. <laughs> Second of all, how are they gonna act like the Taliban doesn't have YouTube? You can find anything on YouTube. <laughs> anything. You're telling me only Americans can use this equipment but the Taliban can't? They're acting like to turn the tank on, you have to sing, th sing like the theme song to Friends, you know? You just gotta be like, come on guys, you gotta get the claps right. <laughs> it's not working, what's happening? <laughs> Here's my question, here's my question. America never has the money for anything, right? There's not enough money for healthcare, there's not enough money for education, there's not enough money to finally finish the Washington Monument by putting two balls on it, but... <laughs> America has no problem with leaving behind $7 billion worth of weapons? How come that never happens any other way? Like, just once, I would love to turn on the news and hear something like, this just in, the government has too much money for health care. So everyone gets a free butt lift. <laughs> it's mind boggling, people. It's mind boggling how much money America wastes on the military. And don't let them trick you into saying like, oh no, it goes to the troops, because it doesn't go to the troops, right? The troops are not balling in the club. No, the defense contractors is where the money goes. And then you hear these people like, well, we need to spend that money to keep people safe. But let me ask you this. What's more threatening to people in America? A group of rebels in some foreign country or healthcare nobody can afford, toxic drinking water, poverty, pollution? Because if I was America, I would spend my war money on the biggest threats. Yeah, that's what I would do. And then I would send the Taliban Flint's old water pipes. That's how I'd fight. <laughs> you don't need missiles, just send that shit. Yeah, try drinking now. <laughs> All right, but let's move on to England, the world's number one exporter of Benedict Cumberbatches. <laughs> As you may know, UK Parliament can be a pretty rowdy place. You know, every day people are shouting and booing at each other like the crowd at the world's pastiest rap battle. But <laughs> it turns out that there is something that you're not allowed to do on the floor, as one British politician found out. The Conservative Party has launched an investigation into claims by some of its female MPs that a Tory colleague watched porn on his mobile phone in the House of Commons itself. Who is the Tory MP accused of watching pornography in the Commons? We still don't know, but government ministers have lined up today to condemn him, saying there's no place for pornography in any workplace. The MP could be suspended and thrown out of the Conservative Party, and the story has reignited criticism of the overall culture in Parliament. A member of the UK's Conservative Party was caught watching porn during a session. And now he could be expelled for it. And I'll be honest, I'm just trying to understand the motivation here. <laughs> no, no, like, like what part of Parliament made this guy want to watch porn? <laughs> like what, what, what turned him on? Was there some new legislation that was getting him hot? <laughs> you know, was there some other minister who was like, this country is going deeper and deeper <laughs> into debt. We cannot pull out at this point. It's just like, ooh, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> and you know, if you ask me, kicking him out wasn't the right punishment, man. 
What they should be doing is what parents do when they catch a kid smoking cigarettes. Yeah, they should force them to watch all of Pornhub. <laughs> I'll teach them a lesson, he'll be like, oh, I've seen all the categories I didn't know existed, please. Oh, who knew Congress had cocaine orgies? Oh, it's too much, Mitch McConnell. Oh. <laughs> I like that you saw him in your mind. That was funny. <laughs> One of you was like, ah, oh, I saw it, Trevor. I mean, look, I, I get that Britain doesn't want its politicians watching porn at work, you know, but I will say, I think the one exception should be the royal family. No, I, I, I think porn could really open their eyes to the beauty of interracial relationships, you know? <laughs> that could be a good thing for them. Oh, and finally, and finally, if you want to talk about politicians getting into weird trouble, and there's no better example than Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States and phantom of the Mar-a-Lago carving station. <laughs> you see, the former president is currently being sued for inciting violence against protesters. And it's gotten serious enough that he was actually forced to testify about it. Former President Donald Trump testified under oath. He was worried that protesters would hurl things at him and that they were dangerous. As part of his deposition from back in October for a civil lawsuit in New York where activists claimed that the former president's bodyguards violently broke up protests outside Trump Tower back in 2015. Okay, first of all, it's crazy that there are so many Trump scandals that he's literally getting dragged into court for something we didn't even know was a thing. Like, did you know this was a thing? Huh, did you? You, nobody knew, nobody knew about this. I didn't. Trump lawsuits are like Nicolas Cage movies. There's like a bunch where you're like, he lost a pig? When did that happen? <laughs> but anyway, Trump was being sued for inciting violence to protesters, right? Against protesters, rather. And then he came up with one of the most crazy defenses I've ever heard. This might be my favorite story of the year. And to fully understand the story, you have to hear the actual deposition that Trump gave in the case. Now, unfortunately, there's no recording. But fortunately, there is a transcript. <laughs> so to give you a little taste, uh, I'm gonna get some help from our very own Michael Costa, everybody. <laughs> you see... <laughs> For your... For your uh, understanding and enjoyment, Costa and I are going to read sections from the transcript for you. Now, he will be reading the parts of various lawyers, and I will be playing Donald Jackfruit Trump. <laughs> and again, we're just gonna read excerpts from the actual transcript, because I promise you, no comedy writer is gonna come up with something funnier than this. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready? Ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, so just so you understand, the key section begins with lawyers playing a video from a 2016 Trump rally. If you see somebody getting ready to throw a tomato, knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously. Knock the crap out of them, would you? That was your statement. Oh, yeah. It was very dangerous. We were threatened. <laughs> with what? They were gonna throw fruit. We were threatened. We had a threat. How did you become aware that there was a threat, that people were gonna throw fruit? We were told. We were told. And you get hit with fruit, it's no, it's very violent stuff. We were on alert for that. Mm. A tomato is a fruit, after all. I guess it has seeds. It's worse than a tomato. It's other things also, but tomato. When they start doing that stuff, it's very dangerous. It's very dangerous stuff. You can get killed with those things. I wanted to have people be ready because we were put on alert that they were gonna do, they were gonna do to fruit. <laughs> and some fruit is a lot worse than, tomatoes are bad by the way, but it's very dangerous. No, I wanted them to watch. They were on alert. They were gonna hit, they were gonna hit hard. <laughs> Do, do you have any knowledge as to whether or not anybody was found to have tomatoes in their possession on that date? I don't know. But it didn't happen. It worked out that nothing happened. We heard it was going to happen, but nothing happened. Mr. President, is it your expectation that if your security guards see someone about to throw a tomato, that they should knock the crap out of them? Well, a tomato, a pineapple, 
A lot of other things they throw. They have to be aggressive in stopping that from happening, because if that happens, you can be killed if that happens. <laughs> And getting aggressive includes the use of physical force. To stop somebody from throwing pineapples, tomatoes, bananas, <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, it's dangerous stuff. I have no further questions. And see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Our two-man show, The President and the Fruit, will be uh, <laughs> off Broadway soon. Again, that conversation really happened <laughs> with the former president of the United States. I, I will say this, he's not wrong about being hit with a pineapple being dangerous, you know? I mean, that's got spikes built in. And a banana, too. It might not seem dangerous, but remember, if someone throws a banana, it comes right back at them, so it can just throw it at you, keep hitting you over and over again. You know what I think the worst fruit is to get hit with? A honeydew. Yeah, no, not because it's hard, just because you could get some of it in your mouth, and that shit is disgusting. <laughs> like, I hope it hits me in the head and kills me so I don't have to taste it. That's what I hope for. <laughs> but no, people, this is serious stuff, and it's actually caused the Secret Service to alter their methods. I'm told that we've obtained a classified training video that shows how Secret Service protesters are now going to be dealt with. And here's some of the new training. Incredible. Really incredible. All right, that's it for the headlines. But before we go, let's catch up on this weekend's weather forecast with our very own Desi Lydic, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So good to see you. Great to see you. So good to see you. Uh, so, yeah. Desi, uh, what's uh, going on? Everything's great. I finally disposed of my last burner phone, so that's really exciting. They got nothing on me now. Uh, I don't know what that meant. I, I mean, what's going on with the weather? Oh, like... oh, 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 yeah. No, I'm glad you asked about that because I've been meaning to talk to you. It has been freezing inside this building. Like, <laughs> really cold. Every single room, we gotta do something about that. What? I mean, who set the thermostat? The patriarchy? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna do this. Yeah, thing. yeah. By the way, that Trump fruit thing, that really strikes a chord with me. Have you ever been hit in the head with a piece of fruit? No. Never? No. No fruit? Nothing. Not like a kiwi or a no. tangerine? No. Clementine? N no fruit ever. Pear? No, no fruit. Plum? No fruit. Some sort of melon like a cantaloupe? It's still no. Maraschino cherry? No. An apricot? No. An apricot? That's the same thing twice. <laughs> I have never been hit by a fruit in the head, Desi. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Wow. Oh, by the way, can you believe that guy got caught watching porn at work? Right? Passively? I mean, what kind of psychopath watches porn passively? Like it's a commercial or something. <laughs> All right, w you should be doing one of two things when you're watching porn, either pleasuring yourself or crying while pleasuring yourself. There's like no in between. Even at work, you gotta really set the mood and commit. You gotta dim the lights, roll out a bearskin rug, fill a glass with a piping hot cup of French onion soup. <laughs> Make it nice. I thought you were ordering the soup because you were sick. Don't kink shame me, Trevor. I'm not kink shame. You, you know what, Desi, can, could you please just tell us what the weather's gonna be? Oh, no, I, I haven't been outside in weeks. <laughs> no, I, got, I, I gotta lay low, the whole burner phone thing. What, what is this about? Well, I would tell you, but, you know, you might have to testify. To who? Trevor, have you not been listening? The fruit, the porn, the French onion soup, all of that, you know? Well, f frankly, now you're implicated, so you gotta think about what you're gonna say. I, I don't know anything, though. Ah, yes, exactly, say that. That's good. No, no, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, tell him that. No, That's tell good. who that. I don't know what See? you're talking about. This is why I roll with you. I don't roll, I don't know what you're talking about. This is. No, I don't roll with you. I don't. No, no, this is why I roll with you. This is why I, we roll. I feel like you committed a crime and I don't want to be a part of it. I do not roll with you. I'm right there with uh, no, you. No, no, you're not. Desi Lydic, everybody. <laughs>